Well, it's crack a lacking, guys. Big cat, big cat outdoors. We're about to go a little fishing. I haven't been fishing since last Saturday when I was at uh, in Chattanooga. Fished the BFL uh, as a co-angler. Fished it on Gunnersville. Got 42nd uh, out of 164. And I'm so stupid and young, I guess, and crazy that I fished that all morning. Got home, had an hour and a half drive back to Chattanooga from Gunnersville. Got back about four. Got something to eat, re-rigged my rods for nighttime fishing, hooked up the boat and fished a tournament solo by myself um, from 8 to 2 a.m. on Chickamauga out of Harrison Bay. And ended up, I would have had like, I think fifth place. Had a, we had like 22 or 23 boats, something like that. But I had like nine point, I had nine ten with three fish, three fish. Somebody. I had nine ten. I had fifth. Fourth place was uh, Jamie Jones. He had nine twenty nine. And then I think third, they paid top three. I think third place had like 10 or 11 pounds. Second was 12 and first was 16 and these are three fish bags, but I'm gonna go and uh, I didn't drive home to Chattanooga So I'm gonna do a little pond fish tonight. I'm gonna go hit up a pond throw a little top water See if we can get some blow-ups, but you never know. I'll see y'all at the pond Pretty awesome. All right, guys, I just pulled up to the pond and it is a beautiful place. I know I've I made some videos out here back in the winter time when I was still dealing with baseball and stuff and trying to make videos and hadn't graduated college yet. But you can see, man, it's gorgeous. It is a gorgeous place, but I only tied up two rods today just for some pond fishing. Just a little uh, baby brush hog, quarter ounce weight. And I tied on a little, uh, it's a little spook little tiny spook because this these ponds a lot of times it's a bunch of little fish it's not it's it's weird this pond here it's either like you catch a giant eight pounder or like a 12 incher I, there's no like two and three pounders and very rare i catch a four it's either like a giant or a baby but you can catch a bunch of numbers out here so but there's two ponds i just showed y'all the big pond and there's a smaller pond up here that i've caught some pretty decent fish out of too so i'm gonna walk up the small pond real quick and uh, flip it and hopefully we can get one out here real quick Pretty little pond. I usually catch one in here real quick or you ain't gonna get bit. It's just. It's so weird seeing grass in this pond. I've been fishing this pond for five years and there never was grass in it. <laughs> and I don't know where this grass come from, but all of a sudden there's grass, <laughs> which is really weird. Mm hmm. That ain't good. I was swimming it. Mm -hmm. I was swimming it. <laughs> Swimming it. He got it too. Little guy. Swimming the brush hog. He come up and smoked it. Golly bum, that felt good. Haven't done that since Saturday. Ate it on the fall. Whoop. 
ate it on the fall. Little guy. I thought he was going to be a good one. Choked it. Choked it thing. Man, I thought that was going to be a good one. Got two. Let's get another one. I was hoping I was a big and I was in grass. Man, I was hoping that one pulled back on me. Man, we're doing good today. Top of the head. <laughs> Dang. Dude, they're hitting the fire out of it too. Like, I picked up and let it fall back down and he thumped it. He freaking thumped it. That was awesome. Come on, I should have brought a pack of brush hogs up here. He thumped it. Ooh. When you set to a card, that's what happens. He freaking thumped it. Come on. I got another one. You ain't gonna believe that. <laughs> this is crazy. I literally was getting out of backlash. It landed like a foot from the bank. If y'all can see that, good God. I'm gonna have to get the pliers out for that one. Freaking choked it. God dang, it's deep. That ain't good. He's bleeding already. I'm gonna have to get the pliers for him. He freaking choked it. Well, I got the hook out. He's bleeding a little bit, but he ain't bleeding that bad. So maybe he'll make it. There he goes. Okay, well, that's awesome. He bled a little bit, but he didn't bleed a ton. But he did bleed some. So that's good. Well, now I got to retie my line because it was so deep. He frayed it. And get another pack of brush hogs. As you could see, I've made repeated casts to all them overhanging limbs right there and pointing to with my rod. And uh, man, I didn't barely had them. But that time I kept dragging it over there and hopping it. And they wouldn't bite it, so I threw it over there and swam it. Um, that was weird. Usually, I can hop it to that grass and they want it, but I've caught a couple fish swimming it and a couple fish just got it on the fall uh, and one of them dragging it. So kind of just got to, that's why I like a brush hog, very versatile. All right, going to the big pond. Let's go fishing. Let's go fish on. Well, got him. Mm, 
Just don't get the treble hook in there. He just swiped at it. See that how he just swiped at it? He hit the water and he swiped at it. What we're gonna do, I'm trying to get way back in this pond. Um, I haven't been back here all year. Usually back here is really good. And I started way over there, but usually I catch them down this bank. I've only got a few bites. Usually that means once I get way back here, they're usually stacked up pretty good. So I'm just gonna fish my way into the thick of it. Hopefully we can catch a few along the way. Oh my gosh, you missed it again. It's gotta be a bluegill, probably. There's two big old bluegill come up here. Might be a bluegill bed. God dang, did you see that? He flipped my bait up a foot out of the water. Gotta be a big bluegill. God, it's a monster bluegill. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a monster bluegill. Golly bum. Look at that thing. And it got the front hook in its mouth. Stop. That's how you get a treble hook in your hand. A bluegill like that. You be still. You you be still. You be very still. Okay, you unhooked. Whew. You talking about a stud of a bluegill. That's a freaking stud. That was fun. <laughs> No way. I was about to say, that's uh, about to piss me off. <sighs> Ooh, man, that bite was, oh man, he frayed the hell out of my <laughs> Ooh, wee, I like the, that little guy thumped it, man. He thumped it. His mouth is so small, I can, I can't even get the, I can't even get the hook out of his mouth. He's so small. Come on. Oh, did he get it? He got it that time. Oh, get him over that brush. <clears throat> he missed it the first time. And I thought I was done for when I hit that stump with that fish. Bye bye, buddy. Okay, I just pulled up. I was parked down there. I just got all my stuff in the truck, but I'm gonna make a. I want to make a few more casts in this pond with this top water. See if uh, see if I can get one on it. I didn't throw top water in this pond earlier because it was pretty hot. So. Going to the grass. He 
<laughs> got him. He got it good, too. Man, he wasn't coming off. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, buddy. Well, that was sweet. Well, that was a lot of fun. Caught, I don't know, six, seven, eight fish. I don't know. I guess we'll figure out when I count how many I got on camera because I know I got everyone on camera this trip. So uh, I'm not sure how many I caught, but man, I had fun. Caught them on top water. Caught them uh, dragging a brush hog, swimming a brush hog. And man, it was just good fun. Um, you know, after working all week and then getting a couple days off, getting to fish a little bit and set to hook, it really kind of resets, you know, life and lets you slow down and think a little bit. So had a ball and uh, I'm gonna go head to the house and get some dinner. Hope you like the footage, y'all have a good one.